So you think you know the cropping tool. Well, I bet you don't. Today I'm going to show you how to actually use the cropping tool to its full, you know, itself. Uh, we're going to start off, everybody knows you can just select a cropping tool and then select an area to crop. It's free cropping. Select any size you want. You can move that over here. You move it over here. You can turn it here, you know, and then enter and there's your picture right okay well I'll show you a few things say if you wanted an exact amount of what to crop you can go up here and put in whatever you want like width 50 so we're gonna front the image and it will automatically go to that size it won't let you go too far up too far down too far over it automatically goes so we press enter, there's our picture. Can I do that? If you want to clear that and go back to free font crop, just hit clear. Another thing you can do is hold down the shift key and it will keep all of the measurements the same at a 45 degree angle. In case you really need it perfect. That's the way to go. Um, you can then, same thing as anything else. And here's another great thing about the cropping tool. You can choose this perspective. And then you get some really cool effects if you play around with this. You can bring that in, bring that in, and press enter, and this is what we get. You can play around with that to get exactly what you're looking for. <clears throat> One more great thing I like about the cropping tool is, say if you needed a little more area on one side or two sides, you can just crop your entire image. When it's selected, you can drag these boxes out to give yourself a little more room. Once you press enter, you have your background. Most people's are white. Right now I have my color set to blue. But then... It's used a lot in um, like making cars into limos and adding more to a picture than there wasn't before. That's just another great thing about the cropping tool. Most of you probably didn't know. Alrighty. So you're going to make sure you check out more of these tutorials at photoshops.com 